fight commentary breakdowns here. Ten years ago, depending on who you ask, Will was either baited into or baited himself into a match against Xu Xiaodong, and the end result was not pretty. So ten years later, is it time for Will to have another, maybe you could say fairer, or an expectation level at the same type of match with Xu Xiaodong? So let's look at Will's most recent fight, and let's see what we can learn. First of all, his name is not Wang, all right? Mis amigos de Colombia, por favor. And this was held in Florencia, Caquetá, Colombia. Okay, so Will, a.k.a. Bill, the Asian guy, is representing Team Canada. From what Will said, he expected his opponent to be kind of a brawler, be very aggressive. Will with the jab. Oop, oop, oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, that's angered Will a little. Will going for the clinch. Very good. We know the clinch is Will's strongest skill set. So the opponent trying to box him to the knees, but he doesn't seem to know how to fight the clinch. So that's not good. So oh, the referee is stopping and resetting. Ooh, Will going for a... Oh, he's got his leg caught. That guy tried to go for a double leg. Did you see that? <laughs> His opponent tried to go for a double leg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the ref's giving him a warning already. What are we watching? Okay. So, Will, nice knees. Yep, it's kind of become a brawling match. But Will, again, controlling the posture of his opponent with the clinch. Very good. Trying to judo throw. <laughs> trying to judo throw. <laughs> uh, trying to judo throw. Trying to judo throw. He's like, I'm sorry. Lo siento, lo siento. <laughs> con permiso, con permiso. <laughs> so he's getting a little warning. <laughs> yep. Um, it's definitely a brawler versus a pro. I'm not saying the brawler isn't a pro. Woo! Look at Will. Um, something he told me. He is good at bouncing off the ropes it's something he's practiced so i really really like to use the ring as for my advantage i like to bounce off the ring or i like to um use a ring to hold me up nice i think besides being the taller guy with more reach will's actually kind of been able to control two ranges right the range where he has the reach advantage and then the close-up the clinch that's pretty good very good game plan on Will. Or, as the Colombians say, Wong. <laughs> so this is the break time. Let's hear a little from Will. So as for this bout, I was fighting the ref, the judge, and the opponent. As for my first fight in Panama, it was exactly the same. I was fighting the ref. The ref kept stalling for the opponent, so I was mentally prepared for this. And usually when you come into enemy territory, a close decision will never happen. Well, in your favor. The game plan is establish your range and get the clinch right away. Most uh, South American guys are kickboxers. So as the fight goes on, same old, same old, stay sticky, stay sticky, keep staying sticky and don't let go. Now my opponent is giving me judo throws because he can't handle my clinch. I was like complaining to the ref right away. Right away, I was like, judo throw, judo throw. So the ref is saying something. Oh, telling him not to throw and I think telling Will not to knee on the ground or something like that. <laughs> I should turn this up to listen to the Spanish. So I was trying to knee him in the head while he was falling down. It's legal in Muay Thai. The referee wasn't having it though. Anyways, round two. Here we go. Oh, Will's going on aggressive. Uh-oh. He's got his leg caught. Oh, did you see that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, wow, Will almost, Will almost got knocked out, man. Woo, that was close. Work on your head movement, Will. I think Will's game plan, Will's skills would go to the next level if he worked on his head movement. He's getting yelled at, I think, because he kneed the guy when the guy was falling, I think. After I caught him in the ropes and kneed him, the referee tapped me, but I didn't feel it. Or this guy's just stalling for time. He's dropped his mouth guard. Dude, the ref's almost stepped on the mouth guard. <laughs> uh, what a world. What a world, guys. There was this one point I see at 2, 3... 
nine, the ref was telling the promoter, look, the clinch, you got to do something about the clinch. Even the ref was telling the corner what to do. I've been telling the ref eight count so many times, eight count, eight count, eight count, but obviously you have to fight the ref, right? The opponent's hurt, right? This is Will's time to go in for the K-I-L-L. Don't even know if I can say that on YouTube anymore. Anyways, oh, Will going in with a good little kick, but he has punched back. Back to his clinch game. Very good. I think Will's figured out that this guy, not only does this guy know not how to fall, not, sorry, not only does this guy not know how to fight in the clinch, he also doesn't know how to exit the clinch. So he, he's vulnerable to strikes upon the exit of the clinch. So a knockdown. Let's see if he can continue. Ooh, seven, eight. Oh, Tough dude, man. He's a very tough guy. So, yeah. Um, kind of like Will predicted. A little bit of a brawler. And, you know, his punching was pretty good. I mean, I think he his punching was better than Will. But, you know, Will took advantage of the sport of Muay Thai, right? Knees and clinch. The opponent was punches, some kicks, and then some... Attempts at illegal throws. <laughs> oh, Will's winning this exchange. Oh, the rush tried to break it up. The rush tried to save, dude. Look at that. He dropped his mouth guard. Dude, the rush tried to save the Colombian fighter. There's a little bit of a home field advantage here, man. Unfair. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, okay, he's giving him another standing count and then his corner threw in the towel. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah, that seems about right. Um, Good job, Will. Let's hear more thoughts from Will. What do you guys think? So we knew that we were going to take damage one way or the other, trying to gain entry into the clinch. It's a lesser of two evils. If I keep coming forward and I get hit, as long as I get the clinch at the end and it won't let go and I don't let go, I should be fine. But this guy got me with a really, really good right hook. So after getting caught, like caught really bad, it's a fight now. Like I actually had to fight. I was trying to fight him on the floor too. I was actually out on my feet. I was fighting on instinct. So in between rounds, a promoter put the Barbie girl song in between rounds just to F with me. He even put our belts close to each other, right? So it was me, Caleb, and Jesse. So it was very, very, very hard to uh, corner each other, especially if someone were to sustain damage or get concussion or whatever, right? So the promoter is very, very smart. It's a good war tactic. Luckily, I bring my boy Lee. So my counterpart saved the day. Held pads for us, corner does and everything. Big support. So big shout out to Brothers Boxing Promotions for sponsoring me. Spartan and Striking Academy for getting me back into my weight class. Also, special shout out to Crew Benny, my coach for this training camp. He really took me back to my Muay Thai roots and Budo Canada. So now is the million dollar question. Is Will ready for Xu Xiaodong? And Will's my bro, but I will be honest. I do not think, Will, you are ready for Xu Xiaodong yet. You're almost there, man. I think you're almost there. But there's just a little bit of awkwardness still in what I see. I'm not saying there's one way to fight, but there's just something that's not clicking and what it is you'll have to figure out but if you fight Xu Xiaodong again I just don't know if you can withstand his blitz the Colombian fighter in this match gave one very hard punch that almost knocked Will out imagine maybe something even twice as hard so work on your head movement you guys are welcome to disagree with me if you think Will's ready to face Xu Xiaodong let us know either way the 10 year anniversary man it's the 10 year anniversary and I'm sure that moment makes Will still very angry. So this match is going to happen. Whether it happens this year or not, we'll see. But Will versus Xu Xiaodong on the horizon. I don't know when, but I think it's going to happen. <laughs>